Hello and welcome to a commentary on Steins Gate, episode 23. This one is called Open the Steins Gate. This is the subversion and this is non-blind. Other than that, my name is guy 4 u Let's get to this. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I've got such a headache, but I want to get this recorded. Oh. I don't know if I'm stupid or just that committed and dedicated. World of War Three. The world is headed towards World War Three. 5.7 billion deaths by 2036. The time machine starts it all. Mayush, Mayuri, Okabe, and Daru are on the rooftop with Suzu. She wants him to join her in her quest to prevent World War III. He refuses. Okabe refuses. He came here from the Alpha World Line. Oh, such a headache. He's altered the World Line endlessly. He had to sacrifice Kurisu to make it to this. So he's not going to let it all go to waste. Boy, that's a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight. Yeah, it was the name of the girl who got stabbed. What if I told you avoiding World War requires preventing Carice's death on July 28, 2010? Yeah. Ah, oh, I better not do that too much with a headache, though. Ah. Oh. One mission to rescue Kurisu to go to the world line of Stein's Gate. <laughs> kind of spit there. Didn't mean to. Alright, I'm going to watch myself for the intro. This is going to get good. <laughs> so, we got. This one, one more episode, that ends the actual bit, then there's the OVA, then there's the movie. So, oh man, this is going to be rough with a headache. I'm probably only going to get through. Probably only going to get through this one right now. Oh man. Such a headache. Ugh, I don't know if it's eye burn or my teeth or or just from the heat of the day. I guess let me give the commentary without watching. <laughs> Even this thing can mess with my head. The headphones. These kind of they kind of wear me down more at a more rapid pace than just normal speakers. But these are necessary for this kind of thing. All right, we're back. Let's go. We have a weird soundtrack. Steins Gate. Your future self came up with the plan. Along with Daru. His theory might be wrong, and world and Steins Gate might not exist. Demo. Uh, Suzu is going anyway. If you have it in you, then take my hand. I'm really curious how many subscribers I'm up to right now, and when this will air. Huh. Maybe she doesn't understand. But if she, this Kurisu, is dear to you. Maybe she's talking. Then I think you should try. Daru also gives him the motivation. I want to talk about this moment that's just about to happen. He doesn't care about 5.7 billion people. He just 
cares about Kurisu. Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's next episode that it happens. Okay, never mind. It's a two-person time machine. So Okabe agrees to go. Just for Kurisu. Just to save Kurisu. Okabe must leave his phone behind so it doesn't interfere with his phone in the past. Wow. I can't pronounce it. Ganbatane. So he leaves it behind. She already stopped by 1975 and 2000. Wow. Mate. It can go forward in time. So this, wor this world line's time machine can go forward in time. So they can go back to the present. Just before noon on July 28th. If they jump for too far back, they risk a scene and altering Kurisu's decisions. G-forces are rough. Oh, man. Alright, so the time machine disappears. Oh, man, this is going to be rough getting through it. Mayuri is thinking of Okabe. Particles in the air, fragments of time, kind of. Like, like fragments of time. Alright, so they time travel back to prior to Kurisu's death. Uh he's getting nauseous. Ha! <laughs> Suzu's so powerful. She shoots the door lock open. Don't run into his former self, it'll cause a paradox. 20 minutes until she's stabbed. Suzu will prep the time machine. Okabe must protect Kurisu. July 28th, the day I found Kurisu on the ground soaked in blood. Mayuri and I had come here to see Dr. Nakabachi's press conference. Then we heard something on the roof. Wow. He just hid from his past self and Mayuri. Wow. Oh, they, they wrote this so well. Mayuri goes to the Upa machine on the fourth floor. So he evades her. He overhears his past self and Mayuri. Look at that posture position uh, that Aokabe's in. So cool. Metalupa! Ah, oh, really rare. Oh, so he thinks he's good. But, here we go. He accidentally runs into Kurisu. Doshita. Man, he's phased by it. And this explains episode one. He goes to touch her, she kind of spazzes out, drops her notes. She wants to know how he knows her name. I'm... He's breaking. I'm here to... He's there to save her is what he's there for. Dr. Nakabachi's conference is about to begin. Soon enough. 15 minutes or whatever. So the press conference happens. So that explained episode one. Okabe talk to her. You'd be able to identify Kurisu. He confirms he could. Dangerous to take her outside without knowing who killed her or how she died. Assume her death is like inevitable. Okabe, past Okabe, interferes with the conference. Interferes, or interrupts it. Okabe listens to his own self. Now he enters. Now he's at the spot Kurisu dies. He's wondering about it. If she gets stabbed there or ends up there. He hears a noise coming. He hides. It's Kurisu. So this is where it happens. Oh, man. Ah, oh, my eyes. 
I think my eyes are burnt out as well. So maybe I'll only be able to do this one today, but... Hey, no need to swear, dude. Dude approaches. Carisu wants a guy to... Her daddy. Her papa. Dr. Nakabachi. It all comes together. She wants him to read her science paper. Okabe speculates that her father is the one who kills her. What a dirtbag. She offends him by him being thrown out of science, publications, whatever. Honto? That we could publish the neighbor under both our names. He wants to steal the paper to credit himself. She mentioned he's stealing it. Man, he hit her. You dirtbag. Choking her on the ground. You evil, evil dirtbag. Okabe tackles him to save Karisu. She catches her breath. Nakabachi re recognizes him. He thinks they just tried to destroy his pet press conference on purpose. He laughs. Soka. He pulls out a pocket knife. He wants to protect Krisu. He throws some hits, but Okabe dodges. The girl's the knife. Okabe goes for the knife. Nakabachi picks up a screwdriver. On the guy. He charges Krisu, grabs her by the throat, and goes to stab her with the screwdriver. She stops his arm. Nakabachi feels humiliated. He's so selfish and egomaniac. Okabe wants him to stop choking her and trying to kill her. Okabe charges. Krisu throws her father out of the way. Okabe stabbed Karisu. You're a dirtbag, dude. You calling them idiots and laughing and takes the paper and runs off. Up your nose, dude. You're a dirtbag. She pushed him out of the way because she he was his father, the father, her father. She's scared. She doesn't want to die. Blood everywhere. She's bleeding out. She doesn't want to die. And there she goes. Okabe tearing up. And there's the yell from episode one. It all makes sense. That's another thing I completely forgot. I had I was under the illusion that it was a female scream because I was so wrapped up in the ongoing stuff. But Okabe killed Kurisu, the one person he tried to save. He's covered in her blood. They they went back to the future. He is he is destroyed. He killed Kurisu. He killed Kurisu. He killed Kurisu. Wow, this was heavy when I saw it the first time. Suzu doesn't want him to give up. They want she wants to try one more time. Uasai. Okabe is discouraged. Let's see how much we have left. 
Okay. Okran's phone gets a message, an email. Demo. Mary opens it. Turn on the news. Nakabachi defects to Russia. Fire in the cargo bay on the plane managed to land in Russia, to which he recently defected. Metal detectors were set off by the Metalupa, belonging to Mayushi. Dara, you don't need to swear with those letters. Internet terminology. That paper is the start of it all. This pits the world's superpowers in an intense race to develop a time machine. Because to control time is to control the world. Ultimately, it leads to world war. Man. The lives of 5.7 billion people are at stake, Okabe. Save Makis Grisu. Change the world line. He doesn't want to. He can't. Same as with Mayuri. It always ends the same. Kurisu dying. Once? Don't be stupid. Do you know how many times I've failed? Dozens of times. Man, is he broke. I know how insane this time loop is. Suzu was pressuring him. Cruel of fate it has in store. He walks. He gets up. I knew. I knew this would happen. I'm tired. He walks off. I've had enough. Mayushi slaps him. Now this time I didn't. But every single time that happened. No, uh, no, no words. That action made me tear up. You aren't one to give up, even when maybe she couldn't say goodbye to Grandma or Grandma. You never stopped coming to her grave every day. That's what helped me say goodbye. That's what helped maybe she get better. She's tearing up. Dakara. So you can't give up. Okabe. You should have received a video file on the 28th. July 28th. Another consistency. He did. It was blank. You should be able to view it now that you've failed once in saving Kurisu. Failing once was part of the plan. It was so that you could see this. We're almost there. The end of the journey. Hajime Mashte. Okabe. 15 years in the future, sent himself a video file. That means you failed in saving Kurisu, it must have been painful. So he, I think what people were saying is he sent this to every world line or something for the one that does succeed or whatever. It helped pave the way, his pain. The plan is to save Kurisu and enter Stein's Gate. Two conditions. Destroy the paper about time machines that Kurisu made that Nakabachi takes to Russia. You must also save Kurisu. Avoiding her death and altering the past is impossible. It is possible to save Kurisu, though. Going about it the wrong way. Now listen closely. You must not alter established past events. You must not undo what you first your first self saw. Doing so would alter the past. All would be lost. Talk about pressure? Wow. Think back to your experiences on the Alpha World Line. It was only three short weeks. The memories with Grisu. Sacrifices everybody everybody made to save Mayuri. All that time mustn't go to waste. 
You can't undo that. The journey across countless world lines is because you're there hoping to save Kreisu. It's because of all those. He devoted everything in developing a time machine. You've got that far because of the shared wish to save Kurisu. Trick yourself! Save Kurisu without changing the fact that she died. Convince your past self that she's dead when she's really alive. Doing so, and the past won't change. Soka. Doyakudo. The time machine is type C204. The C stands for Christina. Target world line is Steins Gate. The reason for the name, it doesn't really mean anything. Okabe smiling. Final mission. Operation Skuld. You must change the outcome without altering established past events. Okabe Rintro observes Makis Kreisu on the ground, soaked in blood. You mustn't change you must change the outcome without altering the established events. Deceive your original self. Deceive the world. This is the only way you can reach Stein's Gate. Good luck. El, Sai, Kangaroo. Yes. So suave. <laughs> he's amused at his future self, that he's still the same when he's 33. Man, this was so good the first time. I wish this could have been blind. He'll do it. If that's the choice of Stein's Gate. Save Krisu. Mad scientist. Ho in Kyoma. Fooling the world is nothing to me. <laughs> He's returned to his old self thanks to his future self. Maybe she likes that him. I'll say it again. Med scientisto. Hoin Kyoma. The world is in the palm of my hand. Woo! Alright. Alright, let's watch ourselves until the end. Probably sound like an idiot. Anyhow. Alright, in advance, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the finale of Steins Gate. Then we'll delve into the OVA and the movie at some point. Um, other than that, if you want to join the Cool Clan, feel free to subscribe. That would be very cool, if it's the choice of Steins Gate. -o. All right, there's the outro. No teaser? No teaser? Or is there a teaser? There is there's, there's going to be a teaser. I know there's going to be a teaser. Yep. Oh, that soundtrack. The, the finale, the conclusion of Steins Gate. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you up ahead. Take her cool.